Hello everybody, name is Jitter and welcome to a game called Rainsweep. Apparently it's an adventure game with some detective themes, so I, I'm really curious to find out what it is about. And... Monday... well, apparently middle of the night, October 07, 1996. Yep, hello there. Ouch. Well, that's a good intro. All the graphic style may be simple, but the music makes all the difference in the world. What a foggy weather you got there. Is that me, a Barra's detective? Going to solve the case? And, well, sadly, that's a demo of the game will be out uh, I don't really know when but I felt I uh, I'd give it a try well like eight hours after uh, on keyboard or a on controller to continue oh I can plug in a controller so that that, that that's a good thing all right I'm here Time to see what it's all about. Alrighty. Controller. Alrighty. That's how we run. Uh, let's look at it. They've been here a while, it looks like. Well, terrible. What? I said terrible, terrible business, all this. Ha! <laughs> this was only a matter of time, everyone knows that. I know, still, they were so young. Young and stupid, you mean, the stories I've heard. I guess you're right, it was just a matter of time. What? It was, a matter of time. It's really coming down today, we should get back home. A few more minutes, I want to see what happens. Nothing's gonna happen, I'm gonna catch a cold, that's all. Oh, I can... The crowd is too close to the crime scene. Well, yep. The number of cops are too few. This is poor. Now what he's up to? Mom, please, you need to back away a little. What's happened here? Murder? Johnny, get under the umbrella. Granny, I wanna leave. Can I go back to the shop? Culture is just coming my, my way. Man, please. Granny, please. Alright, Johnny, let's go. There's no point in standing here now. I knew this would happen. We should have done something. Well, I like how he's smoking all the way through. I wonder if he would be smoking inside too. There's nothing we could have done. Chris is responsible. I'm so sure. It's hard to disagree, but let's not speculate. Detective Anderson, right? The chief is inside, they've been waiting for you. You need to control the crowd, officer. You need to push the crowd from uh, further from the scene, officer. What? You'll have to speak up. I can hear you over the rain. The crowd, handle them. There could be evidence out there. Oh yes, I'm trying. Hey, hey, Williams, what the hell are you doing? Trying to prop up these tapes here. It won't stay. We'll get some sticks and drive them in. Well, that's a good idea. Yes, sir. Richard! Don't call for Richard. Richard is on leave. Do it yourself. Goodness. Sorry, detective. Thing is, we're short of manpower here. We weren't prepared for this kind of thing. First time in decades. And to top it off this rain, out of nowhere. Just get the crowd under control. I'm heading inside. Yes, detective. Don't worry. Richard! I mean, Williams! Yeah. 
That's the way inside. All right. I wonder why Chef sent me all, to the, all the way to the Pineview for, for this case. Only one way to find out. Maybe that's just a shithole without any detectives. Oh, well, that's 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 not really. That's not really good. Does the sheriff? I should talk to him first. All right. So, like, basically, he shot his wife and then himself. That will. Not very professional. I hope they know what they're doing. Michael? Huh? What the hell? Ugh! Detective, are you okay? Uh, I think so, yeah. I guess I'm just a little tired after the long drive here. Uh, Detective Anderson, right? The head office called in to say that should be joining us here for this investigation. I'm Sheriff Harris and this is Lieutenant Watt. We appreciate the department uh, sending help, but her. I don't think we'll need it. This case is all ready to be wrapped up. What do we have here? The victims here are Christopher Green, age 26, died from a bullet wound to the head, looks self-inflicted, and Diane Miller, age 24, single bullet wound through the abdomen. The victims lived together, were unmarried. Well, any signs of an intruder? No signs of forced entry. The door was locked from the inside when we arrived. An officer climbed through the open window here to open the door. There are no footprints outside that window. Except the officers. Except the officers. He was careful. No signs of struggle marks on the bodies either. Time of death? According to the next door neighbor, a single gunshot was heard around... Um, 0015. We received the call at about 0020 hours, and we are here in another 5 minutes. We found them dead upon arrival. There was a single gunshot. Something's not right over here. Uh, and found them dead. Yep. The weapon. Both shots were fired from a. Uh, yep. 1911 classic .45 caliber pistol. The ballistics report will let us know more. Witnesses? Just the next door neighbor. Single gunshot. That would be the good thing to investigate with him. Honestly speaking, detective, we think it's pretty obvious what, uh, what's taken place here. What do you mean? They had... They had a reputation. They weren't exactly a happy couple. The whole town knows this. Then was shot at a point black rage with Chris's gun, probably by Chris. Then he went ahead and shot himself, as the wound is clearly self-inflicted. You see, sending you here unnecessarily complicates uh, unnecess What the fuck? Unnecessarily complicates things. I'm mumbling as usual, well more than usual. But it's quite uh, challenging to ta to tackle the more narrative game. You know, so uh, that's kind of good raining over here. Let's let's be a douchebag. Let's question their abilities. I'm beginning to think it was a very good idea in fact. Uh, er, oh. It's obviously a case of murder suicide to detective. So we've got it all figured out here already, huh? It w if if that was the sarcasm I ignore it, but yes, more or less. I er uh, uh, suggesting that there was domestic violence involved. It seems so. It was never reported, but that doesn't mean it didn't happen. So, rumors? You may call it that, but uh, where's the smoke? There's fire. I'm not sure that... And they were never really able to fit in this town. They were new here, moved in about six months ago. Never got out much, didn't make any friends. We don't need to analyze the obvious directive. That would, be only, uh, that would only be uh, inefficient. Officer Blunt will assist you through the course of your work here. Hello, detective. Under one more thing. We're looking to wrap this case up quickly and cleanly. We don't want to drag it if, I, if it can be helped. We have an important festival coming around in a week's time. <coughs> so you might say this is, our, our, this is our rather bad timing. So there's no need to, uh, to go around complicating things, alright? Just get me a story that works and we can close this case quickly. 
No, mm, okay. And I shall see you later. Okay then, um, anyway. Have a look around the room if you like. Come attack me when you're done. Let's see. Hmm, what's this? Whoa. It's signed Chris96. I'm guessing Chris built some of the furniture around this house. I really love the soundtrack. Hey, detective. <clears throat> Need any help? What's the plan? Have a look around the room. Once you're done, talk to Lieutenant Watts. So she's like a reminder. Box of 20 rounds. 13 here. 7 are missing. 2 were used last night. 5 are unaccounted for. I'm guessing we'll find them loaded in the gun. Looks pretty old. 7 rounds. 4 rounds in here. Expecting 5. Well, let's assume Chris or Diane weren't the ones to use it. Well, is there anyone that could have known where they kept the gun from Pineview? I really doubt it. Remember, no signs of forced entry. Could it be someone they were comfortable with or trust? No one I can think of. Bullet wound to the head. The skull is badly damaged. Most of the site has been blown off. Ouch. His body position and the way he fell would indicate that he was sitting sideways on the chair, facing where the end's body is right now. The angle of the shot indicates that he was shot from this side. And if someone shot him, they were standing in front of the refrigerator. No clues there, though. He could have been shot from that window at the moment it's shot. Let's get checked for the f fingerprints and footprints outside. Could someone have entered and left through here? We should have the fingerprint result in a couple of days, detective. Don't forget there aren't any footprints outside. If someone shot him from outside, then Chris would, uh, would have sat facing the refrigerator. That would make sense that way. The killer wouldn't need to enter the house. But in that case, who shot Diane? Hmm. Gunpowder residue on his right hand. Hard to disagree with Lieutenant here. This is strong evidence for victim shooting himself. Unless it was made to look that way. This chair is falling on his back. Looks like Chris fell off the chair before or after being shot. Well, what else do we have here? Red wine. Looks like a new bottle was opened yesterday. No one drank from this glass. It would seem that Chris was sitting by himself at the table and drinking wine, waiting for someone to join him. Probably Diane? Whether he was waiting for her or someone else, we don't know yet. A glass of wine was knocked over. This looks like wine, but there seems to be blood in here as well. How did blood splatter in this direction? It doesn't make sense. Officer Blunt? Uh, I think uh, there's been more than the two gunshots that, uh, that we're seeing here. Well, that... That makes sense. That really makes sense. Yeah. The ammo. <coughs> Shall we proceed? Yes. I think I I saw everything right now. All right. Let's have a chat with Mr. Willis outside. The rains finally let up. All right, we check in with the neighbor. Right, this is Mr. Willis. He lives right here, next door. Coffee detective? Oh, f hell yes. Ah, he threw away his cigarette. You can ask him any questions you, uh, you may have uh, li last night. Right, Mr. Willis. Can you tell me everything that you saw or heard during last night's events? Well, see, I'd headed off to bed at around 11 p.m. as I usually do after a glass of whiskey. Help me sleep, you know. Anyway, somewhere around 12.15 uh, a.m. I'd say I was woken up by a loud bang. Around from my bedroom window that looked straight down the place. And what did you see? Nothing. The kitchen lights were on, but that's about it. 
I went to me phone and Connor turned and watched her straight away. How long did it take you to get to the window once you heard the shot? About a couple of seconds, detective. Not more than five, I'd say. I nearly fell out my bed when I heard the shot, you might say. Ah, I was halfway there already. Did you see any sort of activity on the street? Anything unusual? No, detective. Everything was exact, exactly the same as always. You said you heard one gunshot. Yes, the whiskey usually knocks me out pretty good, so if there had been more, I didn't hear him. Let's move on to other questions. Do you live alone? Yes, I do. No, I got mad. It's a, it's, a, it's a long story, mate. Why am I meant to be talked over a couple of whiskeys? You know what I mean? Yeah. Can, I, can anyone confirm your whereabouts? I know. I was just a homie. See, I'm a suspect. It's a procedure, Mr. Wood. I know Mr. Willis, he's cool. Let's ignore that. <coughs> Did Chris and Diane have many visitors, friends, something? No, no, no. Not all, in fact. Uh, and all this time I remember we saw Jack coming over to fix the chair and Fart Smith came a couple of times with the new limousine, but we yeah, back almost. No, people rarely ever visited her. They just mostly keep to themselves, see? Never made any friends here. And sometimes folks didn't like those kinds either. So I can't really tell you, I'm not mean. No, please el elaborate. Uh, you won't find anyone crying over the death here. Nobody really knew him, they never got out much. That's mean. Is there anything else you'd like to share with us, Mr. Willis? Uh, I don't know if this is useful, but you might have uh, heard about Chris and Diane. They, lo they look pretty happy when they first move in. More recently, I heard Diane crying a couple of times, usually late at night. She the whiskey knocks me out. Uh, knocks me out. But maybe that's why I never heard all this before, but a couple of times or a little later. One night, uh, about months ago, I, I heard pretty bad things. There were some blood sounds like stuff being flung around and such, see? Heard some crying, I was thinking to myself, maybe, maybe I should call the police, I don't, I don't know, but then it quite done all of a sudden. We never received any calls for domestic violence, but people had often talked of, uh, talked of stories of this kind. Can you remember when you heard this, Mr. Willis? Well, I was up late night while we writing an important letter, I think I was uh, somewhere first or third last month. Alright. And anything else? No, that's all I know about this. Right, thanks for help, Mr. Willis. We'll be in touch if we needed anything else. No problem, and uh thanks for the coffee. Alright, that's really intriguing. I really like this approach to the storytelling. Well I think that's cleared up a lot of things. It has? Well I I don't know nothing. Oh, come on, detective, you're supposed to be good at things, aren't you? Mr. Willis didn't see anything outside the house after the gunshots and there are no signs of anyone forcing entry either. On top of that, considering how raw things were, be things were between the two of them, you heard that Mr. Willis... You heard what Mr. Willis said, right? <coughs> that doesn't prove anything. The state of the relationship could be relevant, or it might have nothing to do with the case. We still need evidence to prove it either way. As for not spotting anyone outside the house, we can't just rely on one witness for a complete picture. A witness that was half asleep, I should add. Well, what? What about the door, huh? How it was locked from the inside? He explained that. I checked the door. It locks itself from the inside when you pull it close. Regardless of whether you pull it from the outside or push it from the inside, I'm not saying that's what happened. I'm saying that there's no conclusive evidence yet. We'll find it. Dig as deep as you like, detective. You won't find anything new here. I was, per I was perfectly capable of handling this case myself, but of course, the head department had to complicate things. In any case, Sheriff Harris will probably want to wrap up this case before the festival, so don't expect him to wait for more than a week. I have to... I have to head to the station now. Officer, escort Detective Anderson to his hotel. We'll do this here. We'll come back in the evening to search the house. Letters, diaries, things of that sort. Alright. Uh, when can we expect the autopsy re results? Day after tomorrow, according to the coroner, but I'll confirm and let you know. 
I'm guessing there were more than two bullet shots last night. We should take another look at around the kitchen to make sure. Three bullets, but oh. We're actually glad that you're here now, although the sheriff and Lieutenant Watts would rather not admit it, even to themselves. This is like the first murder here in the last hundred years or so. Well, that's a r really safe location. We have no idea how to deal with it. Um, I mean... It's alright, I know what you mean. I just joined the force one month back, for instance. And the murder already? I'm not sure if I'm ready. I kind of knew them, you could say. I've never known anyone that's been murdered before, you know. It's kinda weird. A bit sad. I know as an officer I'm not supposed to feel that way all on all. You'll be fine. Give it time. Thanks, detective. That means a lot. I'm afraid I need to stop this episode here. Because it will be episode. I, knew, I know I will be playing this game when it comes out. That, no doubt. Because I really like the story and I really like the style of narrative and well and also I like the murder stories so well that's that's kind of self-explanatory. So well thank you everybody so much for watching if you like this video you can drop a like well leave me some feedback down in the comments or, or something even you can consider subscribing because why not and my name was Jitter and you're awesome.